In this episode of Always an Escrow, we are diving into jet-powered boats, electric motorcycles, the hottest three-wheel motorcycle that is everywhere in South Florida. Tune in. Hello and welcome back to Always an Escrow with Serena Appel and Colby Burchin. Hello, Colbs. Hi, Serena. How are you? I'm great. I am incredibly excited to introduce our new guest today, Joe Bamdas, the owner and operator behind Riva Motorsports. Welcome to the show, Joe. Good morning. Good morning, Colby. Good morning, Serena. How are you guys? It's so good to see you. Well, Joe comes to us. He is the owner and operator of Riva Motorsports. He it is a family-run business. It's been around since 1979. There's a reason why you may have heard of this brand, because it is the world's largest watercraft dealer of jet skis and boats and wave runners and all that fun stuff, all those toys. Joe, I want to get right into it. I want to know, because I'm sure a lot of our viewers and guests also want to know, how did Riva get started? My father moved us down from New Jersey in 79. And he, he's always been interested in cars, motorcycles, anything mechanical. And he had an opportunity to open up a small scooter shop. And in the early 80s, Yamaha introduced the Wave Runner. And that is really when our business started to blow up. Almost immediately because of our location and how we do business, we became the largest watercraft dealer in, uh, in South Florida and then in the country, and now we are in the world, so. So can you tell us a little bit about like what you sell? Just like go all, like tell us everything. You're gonna be here all day, I got a lot of stuff. All right, well, let's start with like, you know, the, the, the biggest. So the largest thing we sell, so we have three stores, and um, down in our south, uh, or in a Key Largo store, one of our biggest or largest products, are we sell boats. Uh, up to 41 feet at this time. So family boats, um, we've got um, fishing boats, we've got a boat called a dual console, which is more of a recreational boat. We also sell jet boats, which are fundamentally different from a traditional boat that, um, that you might see that has a propeller. So jet boats, the advantage of a jet boat and I, we have a lot of families that are migrating to jet boats because of the safety factor. There's no exposed propeller, so no cuts or anything like that. And um, when people want to take their kids out and go tubing or swimming, you'll never, ever have to worry about that. And they're beautiful. They go up to uh, 27 feet right now. Uh, ATVs, side-by-sides. Uh, are you familiar with what a side-by-side -side is? It sounds like a motorcycle with a sidecar. <laughs> Colby, I love you. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> picture a golf cart on steroids that might be lifted with big tires that can go through anything that you could ever imagine. You could even they can even jump through the air. Um, they're high performance off-road uh, fun and they have roll cages on them, so they're very safe. Um, and they're incre they're a lot of fun. So my my question is, with all this stuff that you just said, what do you have in your household? What are you using? I, I ride everything, but what do I have? In my backyard, I have wave runners and a boat. My kids are 9 and 11, and Colby's are a, a little younger, um, but we all like to kind of go out together. So what would you recommend for us? Well, are you a, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm a big advocate for boating because I, I, it's a great activity to keep the family together. And there's always the tubing and pulling up and who doesn't like, you know, having a meal on the water at anchor. It's just amazing. And everybody's swimming around the boat. It, it's, 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 it's really a wonderful, it's, a, it's the best way to spend a day in my opinion. And you're out in the sun and everybody, everybody's outside. Actually, you know, very interesting during COVID, our boat sales went through the roof because it was one of the singular activities where people could get away, be with their family away from others, and they got to spend really just, you know, un unbridled time with their family. And so it really is a really fun activity. But uh, wave runners are equally great. And honestly, if you if you like the dirt, 
I have families that go camping and they take their four wheelers or dirt bikes with them and disappear for the weekend and they're gone and they just, they immerse themselves in that, in that uh, culture and lifestyle and they love it. So that all sounds great to me. If I sell a home on the intracoastal to a family and they don't have a dock and they want some wave runners, what, what do you do? How do you guide them? There's either lifts, wave runner lifts, and we can connect, um, our customers, we do it all the time with different dock companies, and they are more than happy to put a lift in for you. Or we actually sell floating docks, and those are, it's very simple. You ride the uh, jet ski right up onto the dock. Uh, it honestly installs in a day. You need a permit for it. Um, it's probably the easiest way to get yourself on the water and have your ski lifted uh, out of the water. And all, the final uh, way of taking care of your wave runner is you can keep it in a marina. So if you say you don't live on the water, there's plenty of marinas around here that will store your wave runner. You give them a call, they drop them in. And so right when you get there, it's waiting in the water for you. Go enjoy a day on the water. Uh, let a dock hand bring it back in and clean it for you. And it's really just a nice way to uh, get out on the water. And honestly, it's, it's almost hands off ownership. When you come into your showroom, is it like going to uh, buy a car? You go and say, oh, I want to test drive that. I want to use that. How does it work in your showroom? The show, it is a, it's a full showroom full of, uh, uh, right now it's not as full as we'd like due to the world and the way the inventory is. And typically what's going on right now is people are pre-ordering what they want. I wish I could say it, it, two years ago it was like that. We had plenty of product, but unfortunately just like every other industry in the world we're suffering uh, the same you know shortcomings of uh, inventory and supply chain issues but uh, it's it is slowly coming back and uh, it, historically we had a full show and you could come put sit on whatever you wanted and pick it out and um, just like a car dealership, just like you said. So let's talk about some other vehicles that um, you often will recommend for, you know, kind of going to the beach or heading over to the clubhouse, maybe a shopping day over at Meisner Park. Kind of what could be the vehicle for me? So uh, out of our Key Largo store, we sell easy go golf carts. And these are not just the typical golf carts that you see on the golf course. These are customized golf carts and they are uh, street legal for uh, low speed roads. People take them to the beach. People take them shopping. They pick, they take them for a night out. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I see them everywhere. It definitely, they look like so much fun. It's a blast. I don't feel that comfortable going on a motorcycle, but I hear there is a new type of vehicle, um, a three wheeler. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this this new one, this hot new one that's out and about? So Can-Am has two products. They're called the Spider and the Riker. And it's exactly that. We've got two wheels up front, one in the back. They have stability and traction control. They instill confidence in new riders. They're automatic, so there's no shifting. Uh, it honestly brings in a whole new demographic into the motorcycle world. We're seeing a lot of uh, new uh, women riders, which is very exciting. Uh, we're having older riders who might not have felt comfortable on a motorcycle in the past. Um, it's it's really uh, opened up the whole world of motorcycling. Serena, I think you should get a spider and I'm gonna order a golf cart. I love it. 